The government and the ruling party coined the term Papu. You use it to denigrate, to signify extreme in incompetence. What the data, the statistics tell us as to who the actual Papu really is. NSO numbers were out yesterday. Industrial output has shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year. Sawal ye nahi hai ki bastiya kisne jalai. Sawal yehi hai ki pagal ke haath mein matches kisne di. This is a question that India needs to answer. Lok Sabha MP Mahua Moitra has tried again to ruffle some feathers by cherry picking data and putting skewed analysis in an unparliamentary fashion. The member of parliament from Krishna Nagar heavily undermined the progress Indian economy has been making amidst complete global turmoil. Just a few days before the unsubstantiated claims from the MP, the World Bank released an update report on Indian economic performance. The report stated how the Indian economy is resilient to the economic crisis being faced by the rest of the world as its policies have been in good hands. The same report noted that India's foreign exchange reserves were termed as one of the largest in the world and were ample enough to tide over any situation that may arise. Perhaps the TMC representative skipped the data point where inflation in India is turning out to be the lowest in the times of global crisis. Moitra's loud mouth has landed her into a murky situation numerous times. From being slammed by Mamata Banerjee to being isolated by her own party, Mahua's fallacies cannot be hidden. The world recognizes that India is under a good leadership. The people in this country recognize that India is in safe hands. But for a few, making a mountain of a molehill while disregarding India's actual development has become the new normal. Alas, the answer to who's the Papu now isn't that hard.